What's going on everyone? Miles here again with another S-Tech Switch Systems unboxing, but this time it's for the four switches to the right. Um, and actually the reason I'm starting off with the opening with this is for your Rubicon owners who are like, I have lockers, stuff like that, I don't need a whole bunch of switches, but you don't want the Mopar auxiliaries, you don't maybe don't like the way they look, or you don't like needing to get it programmed, whether it's through your taser or going to the factory. Here is switches on the right in a Rubicon model. There are optional finishes. There's a matte black, there's a brushed aluminum, and then there's a carbon fiber finish. I haven't, the reason I'm doing another unboxing was I wanted to show you the four to the right and just a little bit of differences that it will have compared to the six on the left or even if you did a six on the right, but also because Scott has included some things that just got to his website and another face plate finish option that I'm gonna show you. So I've already kind of opened this, but I'm gonna show it to y'all. Now, if you notice here on the box, it says three year warranty. There's actually a five year protection warranty as well. So they're actually increasing their warranty retrospectively to five years. So even if you've already bought one, you're now actually getting a five year warranty. It's pretty awesome. Now again, you're gonna get color install guides, sticker swag, and now the product. Now I'm doing this with my phone in my hand, so just kind of bear with me. Again, you're gonna get another box with fuses and relays, but this time there will only be four in there. Now, had this been set up for six, you would have had two more relays and two more um, fuses in here. Now you can use these though, which is kind of neat, something that it's not advertised, but extra fuse storage and again depending on what switch you need to do what and what accessory it's running you can change these out to different amperages so if you want to store an extra relay for some reason or an extra fuse go ahead um, i kind of like that these are the see-through relays because even though it's obvious that i have a four switch here like if i need to get under here i know which switch is what like because i'm going to be the first one to install two sets of these switches so i'll have a total of 10 um, I don't know why I really did it, but it doesn't hurt to have them. But as you can see here, you have your your adaptive fuse area, or your uh, line, your ground, and then your battery cable. So again, still, still the same setup, just less stuff in it. I also got as well, so just kind of bear with me here, I'm doing this one-handed. I guess I could have just opened it and laid it out versus do a quote unquote unboxing. Another 60 amp breaker. The reason for this, the reason he pushes it, one, it's not an expensive add on. I think it's 10 bucks if you buy a system. If you don't buy a system and you decided you wanted one and knew he sold it, they're like 20 bucks. Um, but I don't even think he even charges that. But anyway, um, bef in between the battery and this relay, there's no protection. So it protects this. It protects power going from the battery to here. He even includes now two feet. It's not stretched out, but two feet of battery cables. The reason I have two is because I needed one for my other one, just because I really, I hadn't wired up my breaker yet. So I was like, hey, Scott, could you help me out with that? So I bought two of those, but that's so you can wire this up. You're going to see a few extra things I mean, than you actually need here. Here is your add a few zip ties and bolts for getting this attached to your um, to your brackets. Now I have some extra brackets here because we're going to test fit putting two next to each other basically like, sorry, like this. Because right now there's only one under there but there's plenty of room to put the other one right next to it. So I'm just... Kind of showing y'all what it looks like. Um, send me a notebook. Thanks, Scott. And then I guess this bracket goes behind there. I know there's a sticker on it, but if you want it to like, I guess it's to either show it off as an Aztec or if you need to space it, but he includes all the bracketry needed. Just show you the bracketry. Now to open the switches and show you again the switches and how they wire up. So again, with all of this, it's a simple single plug that you have to run behind the, um, I hate calling it a firewall, but I guess it's a firewall. So let's go ahead and get this unboxed. So again, you have a little extra pigtail here to go ahead and just wire up everything up. 
a lot of people have been talking about fit, finish, and that it looks cheap. That's, it's one of those things where I think like the video and pictures don't do it justice. This actually fits really well. These fit what Mopar gave us very well. Um, if you go and install these cubbies and hold it up to light, you'll see gaps around it. That's how Mopar fits. These fit great where they're designed. They are very well fit. Um, they're like 3D scanned, I believe, so. Sorry, my battery light came up, it was dying, so my bad. Um, but he uses uh, the higher end 3M carbon fiber wrap. Again, it's not an expensive add-on, so if you just don't want black, it's not, honestly, it's not terrible looking. Again, if you were to over time just wear this out by just constantly trying to touch your switches and stuff, it would take a while, but this is like $100 per square yard or something. So it's, it's the better 3M wrap stuff. Uh, when it's in there, a lot of people are like, oh, it doesn't look good. If you realize once you sit in the Jeep just how low it actually sits, you're not gonna be staring at it. It's not an eyesore, it's pretty dark. But for those of you who want a more quote unquote realistic look, they have this fiberglass carbon, which honestly doesn't look that great to me. Um, Scott and I were talking about it. He goes, I can offer it. It's like $20, $25 because it's a little bit more that goes into production. It's sort of like a, not quite an FRP, but it's it's printed, molded, but it, it just looks like bricks. But if you like that look, it can go. Your switches, I think, actually come out. Yeah. But if you want that look, you can do that. So the switches would go there. Um, but this, they, you actually pop the switches out, and then you put this on here. But if y'all want to do the $20 plus add-on for something that actually look for look, doesn't look as good. The simulated 3M is way better. Again, this is just a little video just to show you all the four switch system. It's gonna go in just the same as I did. I'll probably do another update video for y'all if y'all want. Um, the videos really aren't for me. If you wanna subscribe, great. If not, not a big deal to me. Um, they're just for y'all to get some information. So again, numbered one, two, three, and four. Open leads, You're ready to go. Really good job, can't wait to get installed. Uh, Thank you, Scott. What y'all don't see is the right-hand cubby because I'd already bought it when I got my six left. All right, y'all. Um, I'll get this in probably sometime this week and show y'all again. Thanks.